I want to talk a little bit about how we take the samples. We don't want to take the sample on the on the uh, end of the bale. The reason for that is if, if we bore in here on the end of this bale, we're just getting a small portion of the windrow that was laying out in that field because each one of these roll areas is basically coming out of one, uh, a, a slice of the windrow. So we're not checking at, as much as the fields as if we come in on the side of this, the face of this bale. Um, when we drill into this, we're drilling across a lot of different wind rows, so we're getting a better sample. So we want to take our sample here. So I'll just demonstrate this. Um, again, basically, it's just cutting into the bale as you turn the handle. Um, some um, extension offices will have them so that they'll fit on electric drills. So you don't have to go to all this work in order to, to drill this out. But we want to go in as deep as the, as the core. The deeper we're going, the more wind rows we're crossing, the better sample we're getting. Okay. All right. So now that just releases like that. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but you just got cut grass coming out of the end of that thing. For grass haze, there's another sampling piece of equipment. Uh, one I kind of prefer because I think it's a little easier, a little faster. And it's this tube and inside this tube, there's a stainless steel pipe that's sharpened on the end. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's sharpened on the end. And basically, as you go through there taking samples, you can take three or four different samples with this unit. And the forage stores in here so you don't have to stop near as often. Plus, you're not having to crank it. Uh, it, it takes some strength in order to do this. But here's an example. You place that on the face of the bale and you push it into the bale. Okay, pull it back out. That tube is full of hay. Take our little plunger here and push it down into the, to the little receptacle there. By doing lots of bales and lots of samples, we're getting a really good estimate of the quality of this forage across the whole field. So when we're figuring our ration to feed the cattle, uh, we're putting in good information uh, that's going to help us to feed those animals correctly. Usually what we have producers do is go out and take their samples, bring them in a Ziploc bag, and then we'll put them in these bags when they come to the office. But this is the size of a sample we need. So if I take 20 samples and put them in that bucket, I would then mix those samples all up and pour them into this bag. Now at the office, we'll ask you whether you want the basic analysis, protein and moisture, or basic plus energy, which is protein, moisture, ADF, TDN, and energy. Um, we can also do basic plus energy plus RFV, and that's usually done on alfalfa haze for dairy cattle. Uh, but we can also test for uh, nitrate toxicity, minerals, uh, the micronutrients, um, and some plant tissue things. But we'll put a customer code on there at the office and a sample number, what the crop was, in this case be cool season forage, um, and send that into the OSU lab. You know, as we had talked about, we want to get a really good sample of the whole field. As you can see, this windrow goes across quite a bit of this field, and if it was a larger field, it might go for a half a mile. Uh, when we sample the rounded part of the round bales, we're getting this entire windrow, we're cutting all the way across those rolls in that round part, so we may get this whole rent windrow, and we might get five or six other areas of this field when we push that probe through that rounded side. 
Same thing with the square barrels, big squares or small squares. If we go in on the ends, we get more of the windrow in that and we get a better sample. If we gra do a grab sample out of the side of the bale, the flat part of a round bale, or we go with our probe into that, we may only get this much of that windrow in our sample. So we're not sampling anything but this little bitty square area in the field. So it's very important that you want to get your sample out of the rounded part of the round bale. Do that and you'll get a good sample. It'll give you some good data uh, when you're feeding your cow.